Yes, yes, yes! Am I a digi destined now? No, but I'm actually happy that this finally came in. Um, just go ahead and uh, unbox this. It came with a really cool little uh, screen cleaning cloth thing. So let's rip this bad boy open. Actually, I might not even need that. Let's just remove some of these things. It's got this really, like, nice, ooh. Mm. It's got this really cool, nice tissue paper, packing tissue paper. Um, just gonna tear right into it, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's just tear it into it, because it doesn't really matter. There it is. That is just the packaging box. Uh, now, oh, what? What? This is so nice. This just feels super premium. Look, this is a uh, more wrapping tissue paper with uh, pressed. Uh, Lettering, Digimon Adventure, Digivice version complete. Uh, now, what separates this from a traditional V-Pet is it's not a traditional V-Pet. It is, in fact, a Digivice, which usually uh, means that it uh, contains very minimal, if any, functions that a traditional V-Pet has. So, care mistakes, feeding, raising, and, you know, making sure that it goes to bed at a certain time uh, are not as heavily weighed on the Digivice as it is on a V-Pet. Uh, it's kind of more of like a adventure kind of game. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is just packing papers. There is the actual box itself. So nice. There is shiny Agumon, all translucent and shiny like Digimon Adventure, Digivice version complete, Agumon. I'm really excited to uh, start this. Oh, these are, what is, oh, and there's Greymon. That's awesome. Yeah, these are the crests. So, Crest of Courage, Crest of Courage. Uh, yeah, Greymon's on the side now. That's really cool. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, there's some, like, little, uh, writing in there. Nice. This is super nice. It's way smaller than I thought. Here's my, uh, AirPod case. Oh, man. This thing is massive compared to the actual toy. Um, so yeah, this is a, like, a step counter, so I will be carrying this with me uh, just to uh, play it, you know, as a, as a regular uh, Digivice step counter. I've never owned a Digivice before. Uh, no, I take that back. I have. I owned the D3 way back when. Uh, who knows what happened to it. Um, but yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. So there is the device itself. Here's the belt clip. Actually seems pretty sturdy. I like the size. The size is really good. Here is a V-Pet for comparison. And I think, I, oh it's got, yeah it does have some scratches on it already. So here's the button, rubber. And uh, this is a right uh, button. This is a left button. So. The uh, right, the left hand side uh, button actually is divided into two buttons, um, down which is right and up which is left, there's the A button, the B button, I think the antenna does do something if I'm not mistaken, yep, there is the uh, pedometer, actually I think it has an accelerometer in it, um, the uh, pendulum 
Uh, just like the Pen Z is just for a, that tactile feel. I'm excited to have this finally, and I'm going to be proudly carrying this around. I don't care who sees me, but it's going to be a really cool game to just uh, play with. Um, and it can battle pretty much almost any uh, any uh, V-Pet alongside. So here. so there's that connection. Uh, maybe I will do like a kind of like battle video kind of separated, uh, showing off the different battle functions. I don't think it can fight the um, Excel because this is only a two two prong device. Here's the uh, manual for it, but I noticed that inside it's got the dates for the uh, Digivices, 1999, the, then the uh, 2015 uh, version, and then the uh, version complete, which is the one that I have here. And then it shows you uh, the uh, anime that the uh, original the Digivice pops out in. It is Digimon Adventure, Adventure Try, and then uh, Last Kizuna, or Last Evolution Kizuna. So I actually went on ahead to put a uh, screen protector on it. I actually have this really old uh, PS Vita screen protector that I've been cutting up to like make small screen protector. But this was perfect for this. Um, did get like a little lint inside, but otherwise um, I cut it pretty perfectly. I just wanted the screen to be uh, covered. But yeah, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and pull this tab. I'm actually really excited to be carrying this with me. And um, yeah, let's do it. Bandai. Let's do it. So now we get to choose our partner Digimon. So there's Agumon, Bioman, Gabumon, Tentamon, right? That's his name? Uh, Gomamon. I really like Gomamon. Uh, Palmon. Yeah, Palomon or Palmon? Patamon. But let's do uh, Agumon. Because if I do Agumon and then I find uh, Gabumon later on and I get them to their max uh, Digivolution, uh, their last Digivolution state, I think they can both, both of them have to be in their last Digivolution stage. I can get them to Digivolve into Omnimon. So I'll just start with Agumon. There he is. So let's just set the time to 10. 10 a.m. just for now. Koromon, Digivolve to Agumon. It's really quiet. Yeah, there he is. So, there he is. Um, so, like I said, uh, the pendulum in here is, is just for just for show. Um, there is a, a accelerometer in here. And... Uh, can see him walking around as we uh, go around so let's just go over the different functions really quick um, down does nothing up brings up the time uh, B brings up the area and how many steps are required to complete it uh, these are the currently walked steps so I walked 12 steps uh, yeah and then here is the menu so the um, parameters or uh, stats, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so there's your, uh, you choose what Digimon you want to, uh, what uh, partner Digimon you want to uh, view the parameters of. So we're going to choose uh, Agumon. Now DP is kind of the same idea uh, that it was on the DM20 um, where you're there required to do battle. Uh, DP in the, in the Digivice, however, is required to Digivolve. Um, I guess I can't. I have zero digi, digi, digi points, digi power. I forgot what it was called. I have zero at the moment, um, and so they are required to digivolve. So I think you gain, you gain like 10 for every 100 steps you take. I think you gain, and then you, you spend those points in battle to digivolve. Uh, wins. So uh, you need, I need to win 10 battles with Agumon in order to allow him to digivolve into Greymon. Uh, and then 15. I think, or 10 again to uh, Metal Greymon, and then 15 to War Greymon, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and each uh, consecutive uh, set of wins allows uh, unlocks that uh, Digivolution. And I think I saw somewhere that there were like 80 Digimon in here to uh, to uh, unlock, like Gatomon and Wizardmon. 
is it wizardmon or wizardmon whatever but uh yeah spoiler alert um but yeah I i'm gonna have a lot of fun with this especially carrying it around hp shows how many uh hits your uh, digimon can take so agumon can take three hits and your attack shows how many hits or how much damage he does to the opponent digimon um so parameters uh there is connect oops here is the map so this is the uh map i'm currently working on i think this is file island and i am area one of the file island um so that is the area i'd be choosing uh, once i complete it then i get to move on to the other areas um i don't know how i'm going to want to record this but anyways uh, then uh, healing items or medicine, and then uh, connect, uh, battle connect. I don't think I can do any connection battles right now because um, my Digimon's uh, currently asleep, which, yeah. And then uh, that is it. So as uh, I walk, um, I believe he encounters Digimon to fight. I guess he gained one point for every hundred steps. Wow. Okay. So I guess I'm not going to find any battles yet, but uh, I am excited to uh, start playing with this and running it. Um, point of fact, I believe the antenna, as I said earlier, does connect to things that produce a signal. Um, and that's how you find other Digimon uh, when you get the help, uh, the help call, um, help capture, I think is what it's called. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can get it to work. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and allow you to find different Digimon. Maybe I can't yet. I can't unlock that yet. But yeah, I'm really happy to have this. And I, I, I just feel that this is kind of like a dream come true, especially from my childhood. But regardless, uh, that's going to be it for today. This was kind of a little unboxing of the Digivice version complete. And with that, I will see you later.